A ruler once came to Jesus by night to ask in the way of salvation and light. The master made answer in words true and plain, ye must be born again. Good morning and welcome to the Bible Study Pal podcast. I'm Greg Circle, the preacher for the Church of Christ that meets in Palmyra, Indiana. On today's episode, we continue our reading of the Gospel according to Mark. The goal of this public reading of this portion of Scripture is to spark thoughts for discussion in the midweek Bible study on Wednesday night and prepare for the Book of the Month sermon series that goes through 2023. If you have any thoughts or questions that come to mind during the reading, type them in the comment section below. The translation for this reading comes from the Holy Bible, Berean Standard Bible, BSB. Copyright 2016 and 2020 by Bible Hub. Used by permission, all rights reserved worldwide. I verily, verily say unto thee, ye must be born again. Let's get into the reading. Then the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, and they saw some of his disciples eating with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. Now in holding to the tradition of the elders, the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat until they wash their hands ceremonially. And on returning from the market, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other traditions for them to observe, including the washing of cups, pitchers, kettles, and couches for dining. So the Pharisees and scribes question Jesus, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders? Instead, they eat with defiled hands. Jesus answered them, Isaiah prophesied correctly about you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. They teach as doctrine the precepts of men. You have disregarded the commandment of God to keep the tradition of men. He went on to say, You neatly set aside the command of God to maintain your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and anyone who curses his father or mother must be put to death. But you say that if a man says to his father or mother, Whatever you would have received from me is Corban, that is, a gift devoted to God. He is no longer permitted to do anything for his father or mother. Thus you nullify the word of God by the tradition you have handed down, and you do so in many such matters. Once again, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, All of you listen to me and understand. Nothing that enters a man from the outside can defile him, but the things that come out of a man, these are what defile him. After Jesus had left the crowd and gone into the house, his disciples inquired about the parable. Are you still so dull, he asked, Do you not understand? Nothing that enters a man from the outside can defile him because it does not enter his heart, but it goes into the stomach and then is eliminated. Thus, all foods are clean. He continued, What comes out of a man, that is what defiles him. For from within the hearts of men come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, debauchery, envy, slander, arrogance, and foolishness. All these evils come from within, and these are what defile a man. Jesus left that place and went to the region of Tyre. Not wanting anyone to know he was there, he entered a house but was unable to escape their notice. Instead, a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit soon heard about Jesus, and she came and fell at his feet. Now she was a Greek woman of Syrophoenician origin, and she kept asking Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, let the children have their fill, he said, for it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then Jesus told her, Because of this answer you may go. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found her child lying on the bed, and the demon was gone. Then Jesus left the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. Some people brought to him a man who was deaf and hardly able to speak, and they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. So Jesus took him aside privately, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed deeply and said to him, Ephatha, which means, be opened. Immediately the man's ears were opened and his tongue was released, and he began to speak plainly. Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone. But the more he ordered them, the more widely they proclaimed it. The people were utterly astonished and said, He has done all things well. He makes even the deaf hear and the mute speak. Ye must be born again, again. Ye must be born again, again. I verily, verily say unto thee. We invite you to join us as we worship our Lord and study His Word each Sunday morning at 9.15 a.m. for Bible classes for all ages 
10 a.m. and 5 p.m. for two distinct worship services, and each Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. for another chance to study and discuss God's Word. Occasionally, we may alter the p.m. service times for a special event. Please check palmyrachurchofchrist.org or our Facebook page for the schedule for the week. If you have any questions or would like to have a Bible study in person or by correspondence, email preacher at palmyrachurchofchrist.org or call 812-364-6215. Thank you for listening.